Hello, just to demonstrate a branding tool we have for Office 365 for education. Uh, as you can see here, we've already uh, branded our site. It's uh, quite blue. I've got a bit of three sets of colours. I've got uh, a dark blue background. I've got a navigation bar, which is another blue, and this body, which is a far lighter blue. And I want to completely change these. So I'm going to get to my site content, and I've got a list called colour. I've got my default colour here that I've already set up, but I'm going to click on New Item. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to click on this colour one, which is my background. I'm going to select a new colour. I'm going to just select a, a darker blue for now. My colour two, which is my navigation. I'm going to go for something a bit more green, make it a bit dark. And I also want a colour 3, which is like lighter blue. I'm going to make that a bit more of a, a lighter green colour. I'm going to hit apply. And there we go. There are our colours now changed. That's great, but maybe we want to add, add a background now. So we'll click on site content. We'll go to our design folder. And we can upload a few images. So here I have a, an image available and I'm just going to drag this drop onto here and some of the features we have within SharePoint 2013. I'm going to refresh the page and you can now see how our site has completely changed. And jumping back to the, the root of that page you can see now that we've gone. So we can have multiple colours in any of the millions of colours, millions of different schemes that we can have on whichever background that you want. I've now jumped into Office 365 for Education uh, currently running in SharePoint 2010 and you can see we've got a different design uh, that's currently on the screen and this time I'm going to change the colour and this time we've got a, we've got a blue which is one certain colour here, we've got a background colour you can see here it's a very light one in here and if we expanded the screen you would see more of it. And you would also see another blue here where it says home which is also the same blue that's used for the text and the background within the web parts and the fonts. So again I'm going to change these, this time I know the colours that I want. So I'm going to go to my view or content, I'm going to navigate down to colour, I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to, as I said, I we know these numbers already, so I'm going to put in my uh, hex codes as they are. I'm going to hit save. Do a quick refresh of my screen, and you can see that our colours have changed. What we've also got is we've got a logo here with uh, New Wave Academy. We've got a QR code which might help some of our kids when they bring in their own device and they can get easily access this site. We've also got some images down here on the left hand side. But for now I'm just going to change this logo where it says New Wave Academy. I'm going to go to my site actions, view all site content, can navigate down and click on to design. And you can see here we've actually got a few folders. We can see web part, which is an image that sits above, such as this swirl that goes up the side. We've got our menu across the top here. We've got our banner, we've got our logo, and we've got our top right image as it is here. So I'm just going to add a new image. I'm going to browse for this. Let's go to our folder location. So we've got our logo. I'm also going to upload and replace this QR code with just another image. If I now navigate back to my home page, do a refresh of the page, and you'll notice that those have now appeared on the screen too. 